Picture this, a battlefield from ancient times, warriors ready, the air heavy with anticipation. The difference between victory and defeat, strategic planning. Imagine the thrum of anticipation, the weight of destiny, the whispering winds of fate. This is not just a battlefield. This is a stage where careful planning and foresight decide the outcome, where each move is a chess piece in a grand game of survival and supremacy. Now, let's shift this scene to our lives. Our challenges may not come in the form of sword-wielding opponents, but they are battles nonetheless. Be it the cutthroat world of business, the delicate art of diplomacy, or even the day-to-day -day hurdles we face, strategic planning is our sword and shield, our key to victory. Enter Sun Tzu, an ancient Chinese military strategist, philosopher, and author of the timeless masterpiece, The Art of War. His first chapter, Laying Plans, dives deep into the significance of planning and strategy. His teachings, as relevant as ever, resonate with us as we navigate our own battlefields. Sun Tzu emphasized the assessment of conditions, the calculation of strengths and weaknesses, and the importance of flexibility in plans. He underscored the role of wisdom and sincerity in leadership, asserting that these traits are as vital as the strategies themselves. Think of a startup strategically launching its product in an already saturated market, overcoming odds with a well-crafted plan. Or consider a diplomatic negotiation where the balance of power is maintained through carefully calculated moves. These are not mere coincidences, but the result of strategic planning, a testament to the enduring wisdom of Sun Tzu. So as we ponder on Sun Tzu's principles, we realize how integral strategic planning is to our lives. It's the compass guiding us through unknown territories, the lighthouse in a stormy sea of challenges. Strategic planning, as Sun Tzu teaches us, is the difference between a well-fought victory and a hasty retreat. Dive into the depths of Sun Tzu's wisdom, where every word is a lesson in strategy and foresight. Welcome to the world of Sun Tzu's The Art of War, a world where strategy isn't just about winning, but about understanding, calculating, and adapting. In the first chapter of this revered text, Laying Plans, Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of strategic planning and foresight. He introduces us to the key elements of planning, starting with the assessment of conditions. Sun Tzu believed that understanding one's environment, the current situation, and the nature of the challenge at hand is the first step to crafting a successful strategy. He urged leaders to read the terrain of their challenges, to understand the weather of their circumstances. Next, Sun Tzu discusses the calculation of strengths and weaknesses. He encourages us to recognize our own capabilities and limitations, as well as those of our competition. It's about knowing what you have, what you lack, and what you're up against. This knowledge enables us to capitalize on our strengths, mitigate our weaknesses, and exploit our competitors' vulnerabilities. But Sun Tzu's teachings don't stop at analysis and calculation. He understood that the world is in a constant state of flux. Therefore, he stressed the importance of flexibility in plans. A good strategy doesn't confine us to a rigid path, but allows us to adapt and respond to changing circumstances. It's like water, flowing around obstacles, always moving towards its goal. And finally, Sun Tzu highlights the role of wisdom and sincerity in leadership. He believed that a wise leader is one who can see the bigger picture, who can understand the interconnectedness of all elements in a situation. And a sincere leader is one who is genuine, who leads with integrity and truthfulness. For Sun Tzu, wisdom and sincerity are the guiding lights in the fog of war. These teachings from the art of war are not just strategies for battles, but lessons for life. As we navigate our personal and professional challenges, we can draw from Sun Tzu's wisdom to shape our approach. As Sun Tzu said, the general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. Fast forward to the 21st century. How does Sun Tzu's wisdom hold up in our world? Imagine a startup, let's call it Tech Innovate. Tech Innovate has a groundbreaking idea that could disrupt the industry. But they know that an idea alone isn't enough. They need a plan, a strategy, Here's where Sun Tzu's teachings come into play. Like a general assessing conditions before a battle, Tech Innovate scrutinizes the market landscape, the competition, potential allies, and resources at their disposal. They calculate their strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, 
akin to Sun Tzu's evaluation of heaven and earth, the commander, the method and discipline. They understand that their plan must be flexible, ready to adapt to changing circumstances. Just as Sun Tzu emphasizes the role of wisdom and sincerity in leadership, Tech Innovate's leaders uphold these virtues. They value transparency and ingenuity, fostering a culture that encourages innovation and resilience. Now, let's shift our perspective to a different stage, international relations. Consider a nation negotiating a trade deal. It's not just about haggling over tariffs and quotas. It's a strategic game where understanding the other party's position, anticipating their moves, and planning your own are critical. Here too, Sun Tzu's principles apply. The negotiators assess the situation, calculate their strengths and weaknesses, remain flexible, and display wisdom and sincerity. They strategize, not just for the immediate deal, but for long-term relationships and future negotiations. Whether it's launching a startup or negotiating a trade deal, the principles of strategic planning remain the same. It's about understanding the landscape, knowing oneself, being adaptable, and leading with wisdom and sincerity. In the world of instant gratification, Sun Tzu's teachings remind us of the importance of patience, planning, and prudence. They guide us in business, politics, and even personal decisions. His wisdom, though thousands of years old, continues to resonate with us, proving that the art of war is not just about battles and generals, but about life and leadership. Sun Tzu's strategies, thousands of years old, remain relevant and potent, guiding us in every step. Now, let's turn the lens onto you. How can Sun Tzu's principles of strategic planning shape your approach to challenges and opportunities? We've talked about the power of strategic planning and how Sun Tzu's teachings from over two millennia ago are still shaping the world today. But what about the world that exists within you? Your personal life, your professional journey, the goals you strive for, and the challenges you face. Take a moment to reflect on a recent situation where you had to make a significant decision. It could be a career move, a financial investment, or even a personal relationship. Now, think about how strategic planning could have played a role in that scenario. Consider Sun Tzu's emphasis on assessing conditions. Did you take into account all the relevant factors before making your decision? Or were there aspects you overlooked that later came back to haunt you? What about the calculation of strengths and weaknesses? Did you objectively evaluate your own capabilities and limitations, as well as those of others involved in the situation? Remember, as Sun Tzu taught, understanding yourself and your adversary is the key to victory. And let's not forget the importance of flexibility. In an ever-changing world, our plans also need to be fluid and adaptable. Were you able to adjust your approach when unexpected challenges arose? Or did you stubbornly stick to your original plan, even when it was clear that it wasn't working? Finally, think about the role of wisdom and sincerity. Were you honest with yourself about your motivations and intentions? Did you act in a way that was aligned with your values? As Sun Tzu noted, a leader who is wise and sincere will always have the support of their team. Reflecting on these principles and applying them to your personal and professional life can provide you with valuable insights and tools for dealing with future challenges and opportunities. Remember, as Sun Tzu said, tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. So, whether you're planning your next career move or your next chess move, always have a strategy in place. As we conclude our journey into Sun Tzu's wisdom, let's continue the conversation. Reflect on your encounters with strategy and planning. Have you ever felt the triumph of a well-executed plan? Or perhaps the sting of a strategy gone awry? We've all been there, and it's these experiences that shape us, that teach us the importance of laying plans, just as Sun Tzu emphasized centuries ago. Each one of you has a unique perspective and a unique story to share. How have you applied strategic planning in your life? Have you used it to forge your path in your professional endeavors, or perhaps in navigating the intricate maze of personal relationships? Maybe you've employed it in a sudden, unexpected challenge that life threw your way. Or let's take it a step further. How do you see Sun Tzu's teachings playing out in today's world? Do you see his principles reflected in the strategies of successful organizations or in the diplomatic maneuvers on the global stage? 
Are there lessons from the art of war that you believe could change the course of current events if applied judiciously? Your insights, your experiences, they matter. They add to the richness of this dialogue. They deepen our collective understanding. So share your thoughts, share your stories. Let's learn from each other. Let's grow together. And while you're mulling over these thoughts, let us tease you a bit about what's coming up next. Chapter two of The Art of War is all about waging war. It delves into the intricacies of mobilizing for battle, the cost of warfare, and how to choose your battles wisely. A whole new trove of wisdom awaits us. So stay tuned, keep your thinking caps on, and continue to explore the depths of strategic wisdom with us. Join us as we delve deeper into the art of war. And remember, in life as in war, the key to victory is strategic planning.